Hey guys, what's up? It's Luke and you're watching Watch Stuff with Luke. Thanks for being here. I really appreciate it trying to make the channel grow a little bit bigger from its tiny little form that it's in right now. So thank you for being here. I really, like I said, appreciate it. Um, today, we're back in the Breaking Bad world and whew, last episode was a doozy with <clears throat> Gus like being a total boss and like eating poison, throwing it up, but still having some left inside of him. He's totally feeling ill. He could die, possibly. I doubt it, but he possibly could die. We had Mike who got shot and it's up to Jesse to sort of save the day. And I, if he does, I mean, Gus and Mike are gonna have to really like evaluate Jesse as someone they can trust. And maybe Walt's right, Jesse is someone that's really, really pretty good. But speaking of Walt and Jesse, they, them two are just not together at all. Well, they went to Mexico, Gus and Jesse and Mike, but before that, Walt had a falling out with Jesse and it ended really, really poorly. And it uh, looks like Walt really regrets that. Um, other crazy stuff happening is Skylar. Skylar and um, Ted. And Ted... Is, is like a free spender. He just spends money. Um, Skyler kind of bailed him out and at the very end of the episode he finds out it was Skyler who actually bailed him out. What is he gonna do with that information? Because Skyler is looking awfully suspicious in my opinion. But will Ted care? Or is he just gonna be happy and say okay Skyler I'll do what you say? I don't know. I don't know. Ted's kind of an interesting uh, wrench in this whole thing. So, a lot of fascinating things are going on in the show right now. I can't wait to jump back in. Let's get those headphones on. Let's go. Somebody in the hospital? Is it Gus? Oh, this is in Mexico. Ooh, did Gus already have this planned out? Like, did Gus already know he would need these doctors? Rapido, rapido! Rapido! I bet that means fast. Ah, oh, oh, oh. Is that shot in there, or they just squirt the liquid in? Oh, it's gonna be up to Jesse to save Mike. I don't think Gus cares about Mike. This is all for Gus. This man needs help! This man pays my salary. <laughs> what a line by that doctor. Hearing Romans about some big play down south. So they've heard about it. So when are we going to talk about your face? Heard about last episode. Oh, his face. I don't want to get into it, okay? I don't want to talk about it to you or to anyone else. I'm done explaining myself. Wow, what a hard attitude. Hey, uh, yo, you think he needs more blood? It's in the refrigerator. What, you, you want me to, uh... <laughs> you, Jesse, you gotta do it. Oh, Jesse has his own little stash. <laughs> hey, this guy, hey, Gus was looking out for him. Jesus, he thought of everything. Gus does think of everything. Good to have some friends. Gus has good friends. Jesse gets to see, like, how detailed Gus is. Don't kill him. You know that won't work. Then you've got a problem. Thinking, and, uh, I decided I, I can't do it. I know that's probably not what you wanted to hear. Oh, my gosh. Come on, Ted. And if you want Ted is such an idiot. Because at the end of the day, paying my debt with illicit gambling... Winnings, uh, I don't know, feels wrong. <laughs> it feels wrong, but you can take a larger amount because it's not enough. It's not no, enough. No. It isn't enough no, for him. Words. This isn't about amounts. This is about me doing the right thing. You have to. Actually, no, I don't. Right. It. Oh, this is tense. He's not going to do it. Who's she calling? Saul Goodman, please. 
Better call Saul. Have him take care of it. Hey, we gotta visit this guy again. Hello, Hector. <laughs> Gus just took out all his friends. That the that thing. That thing. In your face. As is your grandson. Do you know what you're looking? <laughs> he knows him. Do you remember him? I've met him before. <laughs> Gus is like rubbing it in his face. Look at the face. His, his expression is you. perfect. And what? Look at me, Hector. <laughs> Doesn't want to look at him. Wow. Gus, man. He just... Oh, he's a killer. Kills people, kills other guy's spirit, makes him cry. Oh my goodness. Yeesh. Going to the chicken farm, it's straight ahead. No, I'm take a little detour. Detour? Oh, Hank. Hank's got some Hank. new information, yeah, or he's got a new hunch. Industrial laundry I want to check out. Hank is so yourself, good. Hank uh, is so this good. Madrigal, his Gail Bedecker took delivery of one of these systems. Yeah, a chemist who was in possession of hand-drawn plans for a meth super lab and was visited wow. by none other than Gus Fring just days before he was capped in the face. There it is right up there. Bingo. Just turn in there. Wow, Walt. The things you do to get out of this. She was like, it's <laughs> He's got that thing on him. Healthier, so. and that guy just came out of nowhere. Yeah, actually, he didn't. <laughs> I saw him coming a mile away. I want is for him to write a check. What? Yep, is she it's going to be fine. I've got my A team on it. What does she want Saul to do? Can I help you? Yeah. Thanks. It's check writing time. This is crazy. Skylar would never do this to me. Sit down and write. <laughs> Skylar would do it to you. I wonder if he refuses. There you go. Six hundred seventeen thousand. So. <gasps> oh, what is he doing? <laughs> that darn carpet. He did. No, he's twitching. What happened to Ted? Ah, they look like they're having such a fun Child. time. You gotta help me. Please. Last time I asked for your help, you said, I hope you end up buried in a barrel. So when he's with Walter, he's so angry. But when he's apart from Walter, like when he was with Gus earlier in the show, he was like, don't kill Mr. White, just let him go. Uh-oh. This looks like a bad situation. But you can't. You can't kill me. Because Jesse wouldn't cook for you if you did. No. Good reasoning. That's it, isn't it? <laughs> I love how the shadow just, like, went over. I will kill your son. I will kill your infant daughter. Oh my gosh. And that's how he could have a hold over Walt. I mean, Skyler, Walt Jr., and a little baby. <laughs> this guy's probably glad not to have to deal with Walt anymore. Walt can be a pain in the ass. So. Now, so yeah, yeah, you understand there's no coming back from this. I mean, you're going to get new socials, new identities. You can't contact your friends or relatives ever again. Leave a message. You tell them that you need a new dust filter for a Hoover Max Extract Pressure Pro Model 60. I wrote it right on there. He'll call you back in five minutes. Okay, okay. Wow, How long this is really interesting. Why would Saul do that anyways? Well, unless he's getting a lot of money from, from them. He's missing a lot of money, it seems like. Skyler. What did you do with all the money? It's okay, but I don't need to panic. 
Now what? Oh my gosh. The world is ending for these guys. Okay. Wow, what an action-packed episode. So much drama. So much happening with the, the storylines interconnecting. I didn't, I didn't foresee that coming at all. With Saul sort of being kind of in the middle of it. Sending that team out there. Ted tripping and something happening to him. Did he get paralyzed? I don't think he died because they showed him twitching his hands. They also foreshadowed that earlier when he tripped over that thing almost. That carpet little rug thing that he had. Oh my gosh. I'm really curious what happened to Ted actually. That's something I want to know. What happened to Ted? I guess we'll find out. Um... I loved the stuff with Gus and him taking care of Hector and just telling Hector that, hey, I won. I won and all your family is dead. That that was nasty. Nasty stuff on Gus's part. And um, <clears throat> the other thing about Gus is just preparing for all situations. He had Jesse's blood in case he needed it. Same with Mike. I thought that he was only caring about himself when I was watching the episode, but thinking about it, no, he had all of that stuff prepared for his whole team. He had to be taken care of first. I mean, that's a given, I guess. But he had enough for everyone else, too. Which was pretty crazy. Uh, we got Jesse. I'm, I'm very conflicted about Jesse because Jesse seems to hate Walt's guts, but also will not work if Walt dies. That is a weird, weird thing to me. Because at this point, it's like, what's Jesse owe Walt? You know, he, what does he owe him? Nothing. Um, seems to hate Walt. So that's, that's something. That's something there. And it looks like Walt's whole world is just crashing down. Crashing, crashing. Um, especially at the end. And then I think that sound at the end, when the camera was panning out, that was such a tense sound. I think that really heightened the emotion you felt while watching that show. That was... That was crazy. Loving it. I can't wait for the next one. We're close to the season finale now. And, uh... Can't imagine what's gonna happen. But thanks for watching with me. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Cause all you gotta smash like, subscribe, click the links down below so I make it